Johnny mother is here. We like to say what's up, guy. It's our way to say hi. In February, it is good to know a plow guy. It is shaped like a key. Also, where I like to ski. Tell by my belt buckle that I'm most definitely from. What's up, my diggers? Um, today was uh, another good day out in the woods of New Hampshire with the stealth diggers. Uh, well, most of the stealth diggers. So here we are all in the woods again. Uh, Charlie, Bob, Keebler, and Keebler son all out having a good old time out in the woods. Cellar hole over here. Um, Charlie's getting a few uh, copper coins out of here in the past. It's pretty chilly and windy, but mostly windy up there. So, we'll see what we find. Some of them are so stealthy, I haven't even met them yet. And uh, <clears throat> we went to uh, several different cellar holes at two different sites and uh, got some pretty cool stuff. Um, Charlie got uh, a really nice compact. Ah, maybe maybe a compact. Yeah, maybe glass on this side. Wow, that's fancy, nice. Um, he got an Indian head penny. Uh, pretty old. I forgot to get Charlie's other button. I'll have him get it out and show me in a second, but I, I think it's an Indian. We got coinage. Ooh, -ee. ooh, -ee. Wow. Here. If that's an Indian or any type of coin. I write oh, for Liberty. 1864. Yep. It's 1864 and it's thin. Yeah, it's not a fatty, which is interesting. Isn't mm -hmm. that the year they switched? Uh, transitional period. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Does, it, does that help or not? When the That's cool. Out? Yeah. All right. So Charlie just dug that. No clue what it is. I think it's King George III. Because right above that, the bridge of his nose there, I can see three lines. And I think King George II faced the other way, didn't it? Uh, I can't tell off the top of my head. Yeah. It, he has to clean it still. Check out his video. Go to Stealth Diggers on YouTube and see if he can figure out what this is. But they made a lot of these floral patterns. Patterns. Very nice. Yeah. Charlie. And right you can tell who made these buttons because they were the company that made a lot of military buttons. Right, so sure. So that's why it's that distinctive military looking style and yeah. quality. Sweet. Yeah. For the civilian sector though. Um, what else? Let's see. Of course, Keebler got big iron. Yeah, see? <laughs> Henry dug one. A little before that, I dug one. Ha! Ah. Mine's sharper. Yeah, but mine's heavier! Ow! <laughs> What's new with that? Um, Bob found a ring. Uh, sorry if the wind is blowing through the mic, guys. Whoa, fence. Bob thinks he found maybe a ring, he said. Let's go get a better look without killing ourselves. Oh yeah, that's a thick one. Ooh. <laughs> Very nice. Kill, that's a small one, but it's thick. Oh yeah. Did you just size? He did. It's on, Henry. <laughs> it's like a half challenge. Right. And, um, I got some pretty cool stuff myself. Let me, uh, oh, Charlie got a pretty cool button, too. And that's made it from a company in Danbury, Connecticut. They were one of the contracted companies that, um, was making military buttons eagle buttons and, and the likes. That's why that particular button looks so much like a military type button um, made by the same company. So let me get my finds all cleaned up 
and uh, show you my plentiful bounty. Pretty cool stuff here. Thanks for watching. Oh, one other thing. Go and check out 49er Digging. He's having his 100th video contest. And uh, he's got links to all of the prizes for first, second, and third place. And um, he's... What? you got to make a comment. you got to promise to make a follow-up unboxing video if you do win. Um, you know, just to help promote his channel, too. So uh, he's probably, I think, like 25 subscribers away from 300. So good job with that, buddy. And um, he's going to have the drawing for the contest when he hits the 300 mark. So if you're not already subscribed to 49, 49er Digging, I will put a link in the description below this video. Go check him out. Give him a sub. Um, and uh, maybe we can all have a chance at winning some cool prizes. On to my finds. So, was, like I was saying, it's it's so windy out there in the woods that it's not that the wind is blowing, you know, on the camera microphone and, and causing all that wind noise, but the wind is literally so loud in the trees itself that it's very hard to to film stuff, and it's very hard to even hear your machine. So you really got to concentrate. And um, we, like I said, I did make a whole bunch of good finds. Um, and some honorable mentions we'll get to. This is a part of the oil lamp. This would be, you turn that, it would send the wick through here. Well, not much of uh, huge finds or whatever so far, but you get this uh, piece of a oil lamp, the little thumb turny part that would turn the wick up, send it through there. A live round which I will disarm and a shotgun brass no clue that's it so far um, a bunch of these bullets you can see there's, there's a couple more over here but they are uh, Remington this is a 36 it says R&P 36 rem. That's a big fatty. Oops. I will disarm that, by the way. Just so everybody knows, I'm not going to keep live ammo. All you do is you get a pair of pliers on here, and a pair of pliers on here, and you give it a twist, and that'll twist right out. And then you, you, you dump out all the gunpowder, and all that's left is the primer cap, which is dangerous. This buckle doesn't look that old, but it's still pretty cool. And I just dug this little buckle. Whoops. Now it's just a buckle. A slew of shotgun shells as well. Probably the biggest ox show I've ever seen. That's possibly the biggest ox shoe I've ever dug. That thing is massive. Whew, wasn't that deep. Of course, it rang in like a manhole cover, too. Cool. This fantastic gold gilted button. I've never seen this really heavy. Never seen one this small with a pattern on it. Uh, looks like a six-pointed geometrical type shape. There we go. That's a beautiful button. Gold still on it. Gold gilt. I'm going to let that dry up a bit. Maybe hit it with a toothbrush. I'll show it to you cleaned up. It was right here. Literally maybe three inches down. Got a nice pat, pat turn on it. My lips are cold. And around here, it's stamped kind of funny. Like it's off center. But it says, uh, you're not going to be able to read it, but I'll read it for you. 
it, I believe it says R, J, and C uh, down the bottom here near my thumb. And then around the top it says extra rich, which is the, the extra gold gilding. So that's extra shiny. This piece I believe to be where it, you know, it would t attach to the drawer front and the handle would go around here for like maybe a desk. Here's something interesting I just dug. I don't even know what it is. Might even have a nameplate on there. Maybe off a piece of furniture. Like a small uh, handle went here like a drawer pull. Something. It's pretty neat. Consensus says this is a knee buckle. Um, I've never dug a knee buckle. This is my first one. It looks kind of like there'd be like a web material here. And the other part would go through here. So maybe that's what that is. And then I got what everybody is telling me is a knee buckle. I didn't even show my own dig. Well, yeah. So that's the first one of those I found. Or could it be in a child uh, shoe buckle? A what? Child shoe buckle, maybe. No, those still had the, the in and on slot of bullets. My favorite one being this one. Cool thing about this one is it says REM, Remington, UMC, which is United Metal Corporation. And down the bottom it says 45 GOVT. So this is a government round. I'm not sure. That's a gigantic 45. Maybe a 45 Magnum. I don't know. Did they make rifles in 45 caliber? But that's pretty cool. And the honorable mentions. This big bronze gear, which I recognized right away. This uh, is a starter Bendix gear. Uh, you find them on the end of starters if you work on lawnmowers snow blowers and that kind of stuff. This is the gear on the end of that. This piece I thought was a thimble at first when I first dug it, a squash thimble, and I was psyched. But it's not. And on second analyzation, there's a nail hole here and then directly across from where that is, if it was round, is another one. That could be like the tip of a walking stick, you know? Um, just piece of copper, this thingamajigger, and that's about it. So there it is. Um, starting to get colder up here. I don't know how many decent Sundays we're going to have left. I'm going to try to squeeze in some local digs on nicer days when I can, um, but I get real busy at work during the winter what with, you know, heat calls and, you know, that kind of stuff. So, uh, stay tuned. Still got the contest coming up. Still working on what I'm going to give away. Some of it may have been found today. Some of it in previous hunts. So, stay tuned. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And as always, swing beat dig.